Nicola Sturgeon set out Scotland's plan for managing COVID today and, as expected, she didn't go quite as far as dropping all measures. However, vaccine passports and mandatory masks are being dropped, but self-isolation for positive cases will remain. Yesterday, of course, the Prime Minister took a different route for England. In a moment, we're going to be hearing from Mark McQuinnon, who's at a testing centre in central London. First, though, let's go to Alan Jenkins in Glasgow. Good evening to you, Alan. And if you can start by just talking us through what the First Minister had to say today. Good evening, CL. Well, all eyes were on Nicola Sturgeon today to see how her approach to easing restrictions would compare to what we've seen happening in England. So let me take you through what is changing first. So from next week on Monday, Scotland's vaccine passport scheme is being scrapped. That has been controversial with a lot of MSPs against that. Legal restrictions such as wearing face coverings in certain locations in Scotland, that will be removed from the 21st of March and become just guidance, so it will be optional for people. That's what's changing, but some things will be staying the same. Nicola Sturgeon saying that free mass testing will continue for the foreseeable and self-isolation for positive cases, although that's being lifted in England, it will stay in place in Scotland. Isolating, staying at home when positive with a highly infectious virus and the follow-up tracing that Test and Protect does remains one of the most fundamental public health protections that we have available to us. It helps limit transmission overall. And in helping keep workplaces and other settings safer, it also provides protection for those most at risk of serious illness from COVID. There was a lot to take in from Nicola Sturgeon's statement today, a lot of detail. So we took what she said to the people of Glasgow to find out what they made here of the changes. Do you wear face coverings in some places from okay. next month? How do you feel about that? No, I'd still carry on using it, just for my, for my own safety. You don't know what other people are around you. I'm quite happy about it, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think I'm a bit over the masks. So you're still right. going to have to isolate. How do you feel about that? That makes sense. If you've been found to have COVID, you may as well isolate. Like, you may as well make sure that you're not at risk to other people. So do you think restrictions are being eased too quickly or too slowly here? Well, I think too quickly, but I'm probably in the minority. What about you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I kind of like echo. I think it's better to like uh, err on the side of caution. But Alan, the First Minister, making it clear the danger's not over. Yeah, in Holyrood, Nicola Sturgeon warning that people should remain vigilant and be prepared for new variants to emerge, really emphasising that the virus is still with us. And one virologist we spoke to said the timescale for easing restrictions does make sense when you think of that. It is a more cautious timeline, as we would have expected from the Scottish Government, which is also more in line with what we're actually seeing in terms of COVID cases still and hospitalisations, which are also level at the moment. Now, Scotland is broadly going in the same direction as England, just at a much slower pace. Caution very much key to this. That has been a, a hallmark of Nicola Sturgeon's approach throughout this pandemic, and it's the same as we're heading out of it. OK, Alan, in Glasgow, thank you. Let's speak now to Mark McQuillan, who's in at central London. And Mark, a cautious approach in Scotland. Remind us what the, the main differences are with uh, in England. Well, testing centres like the one behind me and indeed up and down the country have been a key focal point during this pandemic. But things are changing as of Thursday in England. If you test positive legally, you won't have to self-isolate. You're still being advised to stay at home for five days. But the onus now is on personal judgment rather than legal requirements. And we've been gauging opinion on this new approach to living with COVID. I think it's probably about time for it because we've got to get back to normal at some stage. But uh, to be honest, everybody's taking their masks off already. I suppose the worry is by doing it now, things, uh, infection rates will go up again. And then are we back where we are with the harder lockdown in November? I mean, obviously, I think probably is that like the nation, the economy wants people to go back to work. And by lifting them, maybe that will get more people back into the office. Uh, so, Mark, what has the health secretary had to say about this? Well, a lot of this is down to timing, isn't it? A lot of scientists still think this might be too soon to lift all COVID restrictions in England. Sajid Javid has been explaining why now he thinks this is the right time. The, the sort of so-called Plan B was ended a few weeks ago and we haven't seen a surge in, in cases. And the reason we haven't, I think, is because we do look at the very latest data, take the latest advice, but we keep building on those protections. 
Now, a key part of this new strategy will be scrapping free COVID tests in England as the start of April. Part of that reason is down to money. To put it into context, it costs £2 billion to provide free testing in January alone. So unless you're vulnerable, you'll still have to start paying for tests as of the start of April. The other UK nations will be watching closely to see what effect that has on the spread of COVID. OK, uh, Mark, thank you.